At Farms.com Risk Management, we understand that commodity price risk management and sound financial advice are essential in today's volatile crop and swine sectors. Visit our website at www.riskmanagement.farms.com. This is Michelle Lambrin, Commodity Research Analyst with Farms.com Risk Management with this week's Farms.com Hog Report. Hog weights are up, up and away. Thus far in 2011, U.S. hog weights are the highest they have been in six years. Higher quality corn compared to recent years, and therefore better tasting corn, is causing hogs to rapidly put on weight and leading to higher carcass weights. 2010 was a record year for hog weights, with an average live weight of 270.5 pounds, or 122.7 kilograms, in the Iowa Southern Minnesota region. In 2011, hog weights are averaging more than 5 pounds heavier than those of the same period in 2010. The increase in average carcass weights have led to a rise in overall supply, even though producers have culled sows in an effort to reduce herd size in past months. Higher carcass weights have contributed to more pork moving into cold storage in January. However, the current supply level is not likely to be sustainable into the coming quarters as carcass weights will go down as per the seasonal trend. The combination of higher hog prices and high feed prices will provide pork producers with a unique challenge in 2011. On one hand, producers will be receiving at or near record high prices for their pork. On the other hand, producers will also be paying at or near record highs for their feed, and grocery store shelf prices of pork will also reach record highs. Common projections for these grocery store prices include $3.36 per pound for pork. As long as demand remains strong and high hog prices and sorry, as long as demand remains strong and hog prices remain high, producers will be able to profit either with the, even with the higher feed prices. However, if hog prices dip down below the level necessary to cover feed costs, or if consumer demand considerably slows due to the higher shelf prices, the precarious balance will cease and producers will once again find themselves facing financial repercussions. That's all for this week. Have a great weekend.